All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next problem is very much like the last one. They give us two clues. They give us some information. They tell us there's a log function base b, and when you put in 8, you get out the answer approximately 2.079. So the log base b of 8 is approximately 2.079. The log base b of 2 is approximately 0.693. So when you put 2 into this function, you get out this answer. When you put 8 into this function, you approximately get out this answer. Using those clues, they want us to find the log base b of 1 over 8. Well, this is a quotient, and the quotient rule for logs tells us that we can rewrite something like this as the log base b of the numerator minus the log base b of the denominator. Okay? So this is just the uh, quotient rule, quotient law. For logs. Now, log base b of 8, they already gave me approximately, okay, so approximately, they gave me that the log base b of 8 was 2.079. So I know this part is approximately 2.079, okay, that was given. The log base b of 1 well, when I look back over here, I don't see that information given, okay? So this is a little tricky. The first time you see it. The second time you see it, hopefully you'll get the trick. You don't need any information for the log base b of 1. Here's why you don't, okay? Let me take you over here. What's the log base b of 1? Well, let's see. b to what power gives me 1? zero. So what's the log base b of 1? The log base b of 1 is zero. And then zero minus this would turn out to be that. So there is my answer approximated to the nearest thousandth like they wanted. So why on earth did they give me log base b of 2? Sad news, people, just for you to know that you really didn't need it. That all you needed was the fact that was already in your own head plus one additional fact. So sometimes they're not going to give you, I mean, they're going to give you more information than you need, and you just have to reason through it. Okay? And again, like with any part of math, practice makes perfect. You watch me do these, but then you go try them on Course Compass, you try them on the quizzes, and... uh that's when you really start learning them.